Hey everybody, it's Paul here from Midland Marauders. Welcome back to another video. And today I am taking a look at a figure that I got, a, I think I just got it just after Christmas and I had put a picture of it up on, a, I believe it was Instagram, but I have not done a video yet. So here it is, the video of our 48P Optus Prominion Commander, which is Optimus Prime from the Stormbringer comic. I believe it was a four-part comic where Optimus led the Wreckers himself on Cybertron uh, to take on Thunderwing after he developed that suit of armor that drove him insane and he was going to destroy the universe. So there's the box. Uh, really nice artwork on the front of the box. Um, there's the side of the box. This figure is by Mastermind Creations. Uh, and I don't have too many. I think I only have one other Mastermind Creation figure in my collection, and that is the Mania King figure. Uh, so I might actually try and root him out, and we'll do a size comparison on him. Anyway, guys, that's the box, and we'll take a look at the figure. So here we have Optus Prominion in his vehicle mode with his huge, huge cannons on top of him. And can I just say, this uh, this figure is absolutely awesome. The um, the articulation is insane. I love it, I think it's amazing. I love the color on it. I don't know if the color comes up there, but it's a, a really nice blue and there's a nice red on it as well. And we've got a nice orange on the front there for the, uh, the lights and the windscreen, windshield, whatever we want to call it. Um, he does of course come with his guns as well which can be placed on his back like so and there are all there are little ports on various locations across the figure to uh to attach the guns on he also comes with loads of accessories so he comes with his axe uh it the axe is absolutely huge so there is the axe as you can see i'm not a big fan of the axe um i can see why they they, they give it but i will not be displaying my optimus Perminion, Optus Perminion, Optimus Prime with this axe. It comes in two parts. Uh, so, yeah, so there's the axe. He also comes with a little piece here to uh, hold the sword on his back. Yes, that's right. He does come with his sword. Now, I love the sword. The sword is definitely been giving to, given to him. I think it's just absolutely amazing. Made a lovely transparent plastic. Uh, nice paint applications here and in the hilt we have uh, what looks like a matrix of leadership it's just cool uh, actually it has a um, it's you know you can take references to uh, the the sort of power sort of omens it's just it's just cool I guess really awesome sword he does come with a replacement head now the only difference in this head and the head that is on him is this tiny little piece here that is on that head. So I'm not going to swap it out. I, there's a screw to be undone on the head. You just open the screw and uh, pop the front off, pop the new one on. Job done. And he also comes with two handles because he does have a removable matrix of leadership. However, it does not have handles, so these have to go onto it. But he is able to hold it. Anyway, guys, this is the uh, vehicle. Really nice roll, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, let's get him uh, transformed up and see how he looks. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these cannons off his back. Now, what I will say is you do get these little grey pieces with the uh, set. It does not show you in the instructions, so you have to sort of figure it out yourself as to where they go. These guns, these are actually two guns. They've got a fold-down handle on them as well, so he can hold that like so. Nice paint apps on it there as well, I have to say. Uh, this gun as well does not have a, a fold-down handle, but it has all these little plugs and ports to plug it on, and the barrel has a nice bit of green on the end. Uh, anyway, we'll keep going. I'll just plug this back in here for when we get to robot mode. So take off those guns. Put them to one side. Uh, to start with, we do want to split the legs here, slightly. Then we come along and they open slightly, a little bit, there. 
Uh, what I will say about this is I will actually take off those side guns. They are the guns for his arms. They're on sliders. You don't have to take them off, but it does leave it a little bit easier to do. Um, so just open those. And this leg just extends out. And we'll do the same this side. Open those. Extend the leg out. Then we want to take the foot, and the whole foot section is going to hinge down. Uh, as I said, the joints on this are ridiculously tight. Please be careful because, you know, you don't want to break your, your toy. Uh, fold the two feet down there. Now, there's a really nice mechanism here that the whole leg just sort of collapses in. And we'll take this section before we do that. And there's a little tab there. Just make sure that tab is forward like so. And you just want to line this tab here up with the holes there. And what that does is as you are articulating the figure, uh, it gives some moving parts in it, which I thought was a really nice feature. And it just gives that a little bit more depth to it. So that's that leg done. And we do the same over here in this one. And just flip that up uh, bring down this that forward that goes in there and that goes in there like so and we just make sure that that's all folded up and there's the legs done oh. just like that okay now we're going to come along and we are going to lift this whole top section up like so, it's up 90 degrees. Then we're going to come along and we're going to flip the skirts down the front, like so. Then we're going to rotate the waist section here. And then we're going to collapse that down. So it's coming together pretty fast. The, art, the, the transformation, it's a really nice transformation. It's a fun transformation. Um, nothing that you're going to pull your hair out and, you know, which is good if you're follically challenged like me. Um, we split the arms here. We just want to untab those there, actually, sorry. Wheels, untab. We'll bring them back, the back there. And the arm sections are going to come forward. Push out there, there. Bring these forward. And now I'm just going to move the camera. Okay, that's better. Yes, yes, it is better. Right. So now we're going to work on the back here. Uh, just want to swing these out of the way for now we're going to open this section here and let the head come through fold up the head there's a beautiful head sculpt on this figure then this section here is just going to come along and fold in at the back like so it's going to fold up there like that Then we're going to come along and with the head up, this section here is going to collapse in here like that. I'm just going to snap it into place there like so. And that's that done. It, you will not get the head folded down if you do not have this section pulled up to start the transformation. It, it will not fold down because I don't know if you can see it. You see the little grey thing sticking up in there? That will catch here and the head will not transform. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I was doing it without the uh, the instructions and I uh, it was driving me mad actually, to be honest with you. So we'll come along now and we will fold up the wheels here on the back. Okay, like so. They just fold up there like that. And the same that side. That folds in there like so. Then we'll come along to the arms. We want to flip up those little panels there, there. And as you can see, we're nearly done. 
Then this arm section, you just wiggly waggly it out. You can, as you bend, bring down the arm, you can rotate the bicep there. And we rotate the hand there. And as I said, this, this figure is like, look at all the joints in the shoulder. It's insane. And again here, we'll rotate the arm out there on that double joint. And bring it down, rotate it there at the, uh, at the bicep. And that is that one done. Now, before we come along and um, attach cannons on and everything like that, So as you can see, we get a lovely, lovely profile of the figure. Um, right, let me see now. Move that down there. It is just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Just the one thing I did forget is these sections. Everything is so tight on this. Oh my god! The sections there just move up out of the way. Oh, just give me a second. Okay, so you just want to make sure when you're when you've transformed that this plate here comes up on that joint there. Uh, and you slide that down when you're doing when you're going to vehicle mode So there we have our Stormbringer Optimus Prime these guns do go back onto the arms um, And they do come forward Open out like So and there is a bit of slide on them as well Depending on where you want to have them Now articulation I'm going to go through the articulation of this guy because he's just insane. Starting on the head. The head is on a ball joint. So you do the wiggly, 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 wiggly. There is also a hinge on the neck that will give him that much range up and that much range down. So as you can see, he can look right down there. Okay. Um, short, um, shoulder wise, you can bring the shoulder forward that much. Okay. Um, but with the bicep rotation, you can, will get the arm right across his chest. You just need to move that ever so slightly and you can bring his hand right up there. Okay. Um, the wheels can be moved on the back to get the shoulder back more. Um, there is, on the elbow, we've got a double jointed elbow. And look, look at all the, the moving parts in the elbow. It's just incredible. Um, finger wise, all the fingers are articulated. and can be splayed. Right out there. Okay. Uh, he has a rocker there in the waist. He has that much articulation forward with a, an ab crunch. Uh, his legs So this is the one part that he lacks ever so slightly and um, so the leg comes up that far Which is not very far, but you can push That piece down you get another bit But he also has a second joint in here Anyone that has built any Gundams will be familiar with this joint Well, I suppose they're in a lot of action figures as well. They're in hot toys and all that But you bring that joint forward which brings the leg down and it will bring the leg right up past 90 degrees which is cool. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, bring that back up there now, just for now. Uh, in the knee, uh, you can see the mechanism there in the knee bending. Uh, he has right up there for the, the leg. Bring that back down. Uh, he has a rocker on the foot. He has a toe tilt. He has a, a rocker there that way. He's actually a double jointed ankle. And the legs do come out. Um, they will come out the full 180, well, 90 degrees, that we're going to say, at the side with this joint as well. So he is incredibly, incredibly articulated. Um, he can, of course, hold all his guns. Well, not all his guns. Well, you can give him the axe and the sword if you want. Uh, Gun-wise, take the gun and you pull it apart like that. And then it will actually hinge in on itself. And this section here will tab in here. Like so. Shorten it up. Same with this one. Pull it in. Bend it in. And it will tab in. There, like so. Come on. Okay. Then we can come along and we can get our Optimus. And we can fold these up at the back. Fold this one up at the back. Just make sure that, that you've got those the wheels tabbed in there at the back there. So fold those up on top. And you've got the ports here and here. You've also got ports here and here, which are also part of the transformation as well. But anyway, uh, then we come along and we can take the port here. And that will plug in to there, to the top. And we'll take this one as well. And we'll plug that one on there. And that gives him two huge back cannons, which I think look sweet on him. Uh, and it means that his hands are free to hold his sword. Um, you don't have to give him the two huge cannons on his back if you don't want to. Um, I just put them on there. Uh, he can, of course, just hold one as a rifle. He can hold two as a rifle. Uh, the other option you have is which is probably going to be the way I display him which will be this way uh, sorry that goes on I believe is it this side oh. so it's going to go on there that one's going to go on that side there yeah. like so which are just a nice size I think on them they're not overpowering then come along we got his gun collapse it in pull out the handle and then we can come along and we can put it in his hand So now we've got the little hole in the gun, tab in the hand, and that's going to go in there like so. And you can wrap the fingers around the trigger, which I always love when the the finger is, you know, it's just, you can see that it's on a trigger. And then the other hand we will take and we we'll put the sword in. Get the thumb out of there. And again, tap it in, wrap the fingers around it. And there we go. And he's just such a cool cool toy i love it i love it i'm so happy i bought it uh he's gonna look oh dear 
he's going to look so well. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I am going to. I'm going to see if I can um, get him on a Gundam stand. Uh, so yeah, I'll get him posed up and uh, we'll take a look at him in, at the end of the video. Okay, so here he is. And as you can see, you can get some uh, some really dynamic poses out of him. Um, to take the matrix out or to open the matrix chamber, you want to... It's a bit of a... This is the one thing I don't like because they want you to untab this at the back. Move the arms back. And push those back. Then you come along and you need to open this at the front. And that in turn allows the matrix to flip forward. And as you can see, it's just a, a sphere. Um, so it's not really, well, I suppose you could in theory, leave him open like that. Uh, I'm not really gone on it. I prefer if you could um, do it without having to um, do some of the transformation. But uh, it is what it is. It's fine. Look at it. It's still an awesome figure. I, I think it's really great. I'm glad I bought it. Uh, would I recommend it? Absolutely. The articulation is top notch on it. And I think anyone that buys it probably wouldn't be disappointed. I'm actually sorry that I did not buy the uh, the Nemesis Prime version because that was awesome looking. And he came with a sweet cloak. And I believe the, the cloak had a um, wire in it so that you could... Uh, Give it some really dynamic posing, which is awesome. So anyway, guys, that is Stormbringer Optimus Prime from Mastermind Creations. I was wrong about Mini King. That was unique toys. Please forgive me. It's not my fault. I'm hungry. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.